Hello everyone, today in this video, we will carry out the soldering operation of SOP16 using the help of Andonster Microscope AD409. Let's start now. Firstly, find the direction of the components and align them with the polarity point. To solder components of the type SOP16, it is necessary to first apply a little tin to one end of the solder pad and then solder a pin. Just like this, use our pointed tweezers to clamp the components and place them in the corresponding position, solder the foot and fix it properly. I spent a lot of time aligning the pins. Okay, now you can see that after the first foot is welded, it basically won't move anymore. At this point, this component has been firmly soldered on. We can then solder other pins. For this simple component, the spacing between pins is relatively large and we can perform drag soldering. Since there is some soldering flux on the solder wire, we can simply solder the tin on the pin with a slight touch. Oops, I added too much tin this time. Let's add some soldering flux to save it. You can see that a large lump of tin easily separated. There are still two pins connected. Okay, that would be perfect. Now use a tin suction strip to handle the tin that was accidentally added earlier. Sometimes after soldering, it is found that some pins have sharp tin. At this point, the solder wire can be applied again to the burrs on the pins, which is equivalent to giving some soldering flux. Our goal is to let the flux pass over and heat it. In that case, the burrs on the pins would become smooth and beautiful. The soldering is completed. Let me see how the pins are soldered from other perspective. After soldering is completed, it is necessary to check whether the soldering meets the requirements and try to avoid situations such as forced soldering and short circuits. That's all the content of today's video. If you think this video is doing well, you can give us likes or comments, and we would greatly appreciate your feedback. Goodbye for the next video.